What we hear from a lot of clients is that basically the world's workshop is currently closed. Uh, although China is starting to recover, the rest of the world are starting to feel the effects of supply chain impacts and the disruption that COVID-19 has generated. Part of the problem is that with all the consolidation that's happened and offshoring, some of these suppliers are in particular markets, particular geographies, and the, the disruption that happens can have quite a bit of disproportionate impact because those firms are there. And so we're hearing a lot of companies talk about how do we use technology, data visualization to understand supplier relationships and networks. And the biggest question is it's not just the primary suppliers, uh, but also secondary, tertiary, suppliers of suppliers to those suppliers that really makes the issue uh, really complicated. Business continuity is one area that customers and clients are saying, how do we help them through this? And that's thinking through those supplier networks, making sure they know the proximity of them uh, to the virus, to the infections and where they grow. And as that populates around the world, knowing where their assets are, their employees, their customers, and then the suppliers necessary to run their business becomes incredibly more difficult. Uh, the other thing we're hearing is scenario planning, is as they make short-term supplier changes and trying to recover from immediate uh, losses, but long-term, what does that mean to start working with different suppliers coming from different parts of the world? And finally, um, the disruption is certainly around COVID-19, but there will always be other supplier-related issues such as labor, uh, natural weather events, uh, we see people talking about logistics and shipping and railway that'll be impacted. So all those things are going to continue to be important while uh, dealing with this important COVID-19 issue.